Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1997 Subaru Forester STTB. This car was requested by Inferno the Fox who apparently has great taste because he likes the Forester as much as I do. I love this very first gen Forester. Uh, before crossovers were overplayed and dull shapeless blobs you had the Subaru Forester ST. TB. Basically, it was in Pretzel size, slightly taller, big mad turbo engine. These cars were very cool, uh, and it would go on to have a facelift, and then we'd get the Forester XT, I believe it was called, with the uh, the turbo. And it was basically a WRX without the insurance premiums. I almost bought one. I loved it. It was blue with a silver underbody, but unfortunately it sold five minutes before I showed up to go and uh, have a look at it, so... Unfortunately, I did get a Forester, but kind of wish I did, although my wallet with the fuel economy does not. Um, the race mod on this one, unfortunately, is not two-tone. Uh, it's very strange, this sort of strakes with the yellow. I'm surprised this has a race mod at all. Uh, shout out to the uh, fake sort of nailed on rear window, which is an interesting decision on this car, but that's what it has. I don't know if this is based on anything. I'm sure someone's taken a Forester racing at some point, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how this gets along compared to the Impreza and Legacy Brethren. I don't think it's gonna be as quick, but we will find out. Four wheel drive, 389 horsepower, 1,152 kilos. Let's go ahead and get on the track. This car is going to have six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to five speed. Manual, okay, interesting. Uh, this car is going to have six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Mitsubishi FTO LM Edition. Set the time of a 27.131. Uh, this Forester unlikely to beat that. In terms of direct rivals to this Forester, there's only a couple that I can really think of in this game. And we've only had one of them round. That is the Mazda 323F Sports Wagon. Uh, that currently sits in 157th place with a 30.705. So I'm hoping some of the Subaru jeans in this will make this a little bit quicker than that. Because statistically this isn't too bad, but obviously uh, you've got to factor in it. It's quite a heavy car and it's also sort of quite uh, top heavy as well. Uh, in case you're wondering, the other rival to this car, probably the uh, Toyota Caldina GT. Wow, okay, under 30 Club. That actually means it probably beats an Impreza, a couple of legacies. I was not expecting that from the Forester. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, the other one is the uh, the Caldina GT4, which we haven't had around yet. Uh, Caldina, sort of similar, uh, two-tone. Caldina, another car I'd actually love to own as well, because the Caldina is just mental. Basically think... If you're a European, think Toyota Avensis with Celica GC4 engine. Uh, and hopefully it drives better than the Celica GC4 does around this track. Although the ST205 wasn't too bad. Yeah, this is, um, it's alright. There's a bit of, you can tell this is not like an Impreza or a Legacy or even close to that really. There's a lot of lean on the suspension. This has racing suspension, but it's still a little bit softly sprung. Not quite a... Uh, on to sort of Impreza or Evo levels. 29.498. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That soft suspension doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, disadvantaging it too much because it seems to be getting up there in lap time. That's quick. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, just a bit soft, but other than that, pretty good. Um, maybe going a bit cheeky with that corner cut through there, but this is the Forester. So. A little bit of understeer as well, um, as you sort of would imagine with softly sprung uh, cars such as this. But, uh, not quite going to get it around there. There's no real other crossovers to compare this to in the game, so this is going to be the uh, the fastest crossover. We are going to hit the wall there. Yeah, it's not quite as... Uh, you can sort of see the, uh, the lean as I illustrated through these final corners. Go for a bit of a drift-do session. Um... 
yeah, there's a lot of lean in there. Um, it's not quite as nice to drive as like a Legacy or an Impreza. Well, I am honestly immensely shocked at that pace because that is very quick indeed. Uh, especially for this sort of vehicle. Uh, I am very, very impressed uh, with how that drives. Really cool. <laughs> awesome car. Absolutely awesome. Uh, could have gone quicker, apparently, as well. Um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if there's another tenth in there or so. Um, I think that tenth would be very hard to extract, but definitely possible uh, to get that out of it. Um, I am, yeah, I'm astounded by that. That's really, really good. Uh, a 29.498. We'll place this into 67th place. It is, well, with a bunch of other Subarus. It's slightly slower than the Impreza sedan and the Impreza wagon from 1996, which is basically what this is based on. Uh, so I guess that's a really good place for this to end up. It's quicker than a Lancia Delta HF Integrale. It's quicker than a Nissan Stadia. Uh, quicker than the Escort Rally Car, quicker than a Lister Storm V12, quicker than a Mitsubishi Galant VR4. Um, it is quicker than Evo 3, uh, R32 GTR, uh, Nissan Pulsar Sunny, uh, one of the STI Impressors. It's quicker than a bunch of Impressors and stuff because they're all sort of littered around this side of the board. Quicker than a Tommy Kyra R, quicker than the Golf Rally Car, quicker than a Viper GTS. Quicker than the 97 WRX wagon, although that car didn't run race mods, so I guess you could sort of claim in favour of that one. But yeah, super impressive, super, super impressive stuff from this. I was not expecting this to get anywhere near as high up. I honestly thought this was going to be sort of low 30s, and I was going to have to, you know, <laughs> be a little bit like, well, you know, the type of car it is, it's just not quite there. But no, it, it is quite there. It is on it. It is very very good to drive and i'm very happy anyways that is it for this episode thank you all very much for watching join me next time when i will be driving something completely different and until then farewell